Fuck chastity belt. I don't give a shit about chastity belt. Chastity belt Where's the cake? is real. Chastity belt is on the rocks. Vagina rock. <laughs> when I do backflips, I'm always listening to chastity yeah. belt. <laughs> <laughs> Блять, пидорасы, пошли вы все нахуй. Не, ну, ну, ну. Chastity Belt это просто группа. I'm sorry, who is Chastity Belt? Hey guys, we're Chastity Belt. When you say like, yeah. oh, Chastity Belt, that's a girl band. But they like, also think it's cooler because it's a girl band, on the other hand. I'll never relate to Chastity Belt. I'll listen to them. I'm not even going to try and get what they're saying, though, you know? The most fun things to say in a microphone are vagina and pussy. And fuck. Oh, it's deep. It's deep shit. The band formed for uh, any of us ever practiced or had instruments or knew who was going to be in the band and that was uh, Julie and I. Yeah, so Lydia and I um, just, I don't know, maybe we're talking about chastity belts because we both believe in like abstinence. So we're, that, the subject came up and then we decided that would be like a really good name for a post-post-punk all-female band. And we got together, maybe with Gretchen, maybe with Annie, I don't even remember, maybe with both of them. <laughs> it was kind of still a joke then, like mm -hmm. when we were sophomores, because we like dressed up in like a lot of eyeliner <laughs> and we just like played one song. <laughs> I kind of always wanted to be in a band. Um, I was thinking more like a folk band, <laughs> but <laughs> I have like a huge soft spot for like folky, like female voices. Cocktail. So that's not really fitting into chastity though. <laughs> but I think I'm more into into the punk rock scene these days. I like it more. It's more party music. When I ask people like, "Well, what does chastity belt sound like?" Most people are like, "I don't know." It's like a blank. And then I've heard other people who are like, oh, that one part sounds like, uh... Maniac Love Rock. Fuck you! I'm a huge believer in Chastity Belt because, mostly because of the songs. There's this whole element of friend rock to be conscious of and wary of. You know, it's like you like their band because they're your friend, rather than you like the good music that your friend's band makes. us playing music together and we all happen to be females, you know? Like, it's funny though, because like when we played at Hot Poop, you know, it's like, so we went up there and you could tell like everyone that had never heard us before was like expecting us to be like super lame, you know? And then like the biggest compliment we got afterwards was like all these guys were like, oh my god, like that came out of nowhere. I can't believe that, like such a surprise, you know? And it's like, okay, that's like kind of, it was a great compliment. It's like, I'm glad you guys liked it, but at the other time, at the same time, it's like, okay, you expected us to suck because we're a group of girls, you know, you expected us to be lame. So, 
Yeah, I mean, that sucks. It means we, like, get that attention immediately just because we're female. The thing is, like, when when I tell people, oh, yeah, I'm in a, in a band, and then, like, I list, like, the people in it, and they're like, hey. oh, you're a girl band. It's like, it's, no. it's, this is a woman band. <laughs> When we were starting out, it was definitely just post post punk, and that way it was really clear. But now it's like we're becoming neo post post punk. I think. I honestly think that we're post 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 punk, but Nickelback isn't like an inspiration. So number one, in Nickelback. <laughs> I'd say my relationship to the belt would be at first not really knowing if Chastity Belt was serious and then realizing that Chastity Belt was both not serious and very serious. And then my mom was like, she saw us in the Seattle Times and she was like, oh, are you getting like really popular? Should I be concerned? Like, am I going to be like, is this, is this weird? And I was like, no, oh, I don't know. It's really, it's all thanks to Peter Richards. At first I thought they were making fun of us. They were like, ha, Chastity Belt, you guys are great. But that's how we got our first show in Seattle too, is we played with them at the Josephine. So. Okay. Hopefully, they'll get some kind of uh, label attention, which then turns into like 10 different EPs that turn into like one really great full length. We're all moving to Seattle, actually. We'll probably keep playing shows there, hopefully. I'm moving to New Orleans. Straight <laughs> from the band. I also secretly applied for a job. Hopefully they just collapse because of their own like superstardom. That's what I'm looking for out of Chastity oh, Bell. Four solo careers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>